With the recent acceleration of the advancement of artificial intelligence, we're seeing a lot come out and a lot of predictions, so to say, uh, by artificial intelligence. And I believe that a lot of this is really breeding a lot of distrust in what we see with our own eyes. It's breeding a lot of misinformation. Um, it's breeding a lot of fear, you know, like, oh no, look what artificial intelligence is saying. So I think it's important that we kind of look at this prospect of artificial intelligence predicting World War III. Because recently we did a video a few weeks ago how the Google Gemini AI predicted a civil war and, and it really kind of was nonsense. <laughs> I, to me, a lot of it was based off of the movie. It's almost like it watched the movie and then made some prediction. It just, it was weird. Very weird. Um, and this World War III thing, it's ultimately predicting a few scenarios that here's how a World War III would start. And looking at these scenarios, most of them I thought that I don't see that. Uh, a couple of them I do. But honestly, I think in the end, really all it is doing is saying, you know, here's a scenario that could potentially start a World War III. Um, I think normal intelligence can do that as well. <laughs> so I don't think there's really anything in here that should breed any sort of fear, I guess is what I'm getting at. It's not like they see something that we don't. So I want to kind of look at the scenarios that it's predicting that um, I don't really buy into. One would be resource scarcity. Um, creating economic collapse, uh, which would create instability. So ultimately, like there's just a scarcity of resources, food, water, fuel, that sort of thing. And that would cause just kind of a collapse in society, which would ultimately lead to a World War III. Um, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. I don't necessarily see that. Maybe I'm wrong. Put it in the comments below. Um, another one is a cyber attacks, which spread widespread distrust. Um, maybe the AI is looking at itself in the mirror there a little bit. <laughs> um, this one, I, it would, I, I don't know, it, it'd have to be something big, like cutting out the electricity or something. I, I guess I don't see it there either. Um, put it in the comments below. <laughs> But the ones I do see is territorial disputes uh, that cross a point of no return. So, for example, Russia and Ukraine, there'll be a, you know, potentially a point where there is no return. Like it's moving in a deeper, darker way, uh, which is going to just pull a lot of other countries into it. Another example would be China and Taiwan. Um, so those kind of things I totally see. Like that's... To me, that's if there was a World War III, it's going to probably start one of those ways. Um, put it in the comments below. But again, this is just what AI is predicting would start a World War III. Uh, this one I buy into too. Uh, nationalism's rise of promoting aggressive foreign policies uh, combined with failed diplomacy. Um, in other words, you know, is a rise of nationalism, which I think we're really kind of seeing in the world, um, would ultimately alter foreign policy unlike anything we've ever seen. And, and that would stir up all sorts of trouble. <laughs> so um, I think that one is less likely than the territorial disputes, but still it's I buy into it more than the resource scarcity or the uh, cyber attacks. Um, another one is technological arms race, uh, meaning that there's just a race of technology that ultimately causes fear and distrust, which leads to war. Um, you know, I could see that with Israel and Iran. I could see that, you know, I, I can see that a little bit, uh, but I don't know. Put it in the comments below. What do you think about that one? Um, and then the last one was really a proxy conflict with ongoing regional conflicts involving major powers uh, like U.S. or China, for example. So these would be 
you know, little conflicts that have nothing to do with the U.S. or China, but somehow we get in it and we and China gets in it and then we step on their toes or vice versa. Um, you know, there's a lot of this kind of thing going on in Syria, potentially, you know, if you kind of see what I'm getting at, that there's just this other conflict that there's all these major powers involved. And then like, something happens where somebody's plane gets shot down or something and that then results in more of a worldwide conflict so um that one i kind of buy into as well i'm kind of, kind of surprised that hadn't happened yet to be quite honest with all the disputes going on around the world um but there you go i'd be very curious what your thoughts are you know these are what ai is predicted would cause uh world war three um, I think normal intelligence could probably see a little deeper into this, uh, but ultimately looking at resource scarcity leading to economic collapse and instability, cyber attacks, which creates widespread distrust, uh, territorial disputes, uh, crossing a point of no return, uh, nationalism, the rise of promoting aggressive foreign policies combined with failed diplomacy, uh, technological arms race or a proxy conflict with ongoing regional conflicts involving major superpowers. Uh, so there you go. I buy into about three of those. The others, I don't know. I don't see it. But uh, again, I'd be curious what your thoughts are. Again, I really wanted to make this because I, you know, I've seen a lot of little like, oh no, AI is <laughs> saying World War Three is kind of like, so <laughs> like they're, this artificial intelligence, in my opinion, is not very intelligent. Um, and in some ways, it's more self-fulfilling than anything else. So uh, there you go. Any thoughts or insight on any of this, definitely put it below. I uh, do want to take a moment and say most people watch the channel, not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. Please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns.